Okay, in this section, we're going to talk about measuring rooms with sloped ceilings. And these measurements are really pretty simple. Just follow the rule and you'll have no trouble with these. And I picked this room because this is the perfect example. Got a sloped ceiling on both sides of the room, so it'll make this really easy. All you're doing is measuring straight up from the floor to the five foot mark on the sloped ceiling. Then you're going to mark that point you're going to measure straight across the room to the five foot point, the correlating point on the other wall. And in this case, that measurement is nine feet and four inches. And that's where your measurement ends. In this case, you're not going to add for the exterior walls like you do in all other measurements. Now, for instance, in the length measurement in this room, we're going to measure all the way across this room and in this case, the measurement is 21.3. Now, when we draw that out, it's actually going to be 22.3 because we're adding six tenths of an inch for each exterior wall. And that's just like you do with any other upper level rooms from when you're measuring from interior dimensions, you're going to add for the exterior wall, except for rooms with sloped ceilings where the measurement stops right at that point on the sloped ceiling. Let's talk just a little bit about a knee wall now. In this particular room, we've got a three foot knee wall, just about three feet. And a knee wall is basically just a straight wall that's got a sloped ceiling above. Now for instance, if we had a knee wall that came up to the five foot point and then the ceiling sloped, you would count that measurement just like you do any other upper level measurement. And you would add the six tenths of a foot, or excuse me, five tenths of a foot or six inches for the exterior wall. But you only do that if the knee wall is up to the five foot point. Anything that's less than five foot, when you, got, you go to the sloped ceiling point of five feet, measure straight across the correlating point of five feet, and the measurement stops right there without any addition for an exterior wall. Now one thing, I'm using one of these little gadgets. This one happens to be a Bosch. I think I got this maybe at Lowe's or Home Depot, somewhere like that. These things are maybe $100, somewhere in that range. And the technology over the last few years has really improved on these things. And they really do a good job if you're doing interior measurements whether it's doing upper level measurements or just doing your room sizes for MLS, these work really good. Now, if you're gonna do all your exterior measurements and do everything with a laser measure, you might wanna look at the Disto brand, for instance. Now, they're a lot more money. Of course, you always get what you pay for. But for most measurements that agents and a lot of appraisers, this is all that they need on there. But you might want to look into one of these and you can do a lot of the measurements by yourself without having to take a partner with you. Now, one other thing about this particular room, uh, it's a standard bonus room. We've got one set of steps coming up and it's just a straight staircase. Remember to include that space in your square footage. You're going to draw this rectangle out and then you're going to raise that staircase and count that in the upper level square footage. So the staircase is part of the measurements for this room. And a lot of times, you know, you'll have a rectangle. Now, in this case, the width measurement now is only nine feet four. Those steps are about 10 feet in this case. So you are going to have some kind of a little jut out for the steps. Just always remember that the staircase is finished square footage, just like everything up here. But on rooms with sloped ceilings, just follow the ANSI and the North Carolina rule. It's really simple. Measure from the floor up to the five foot point, measure straight across the room, same five foot point on there, and the measurement stops at that point with no addition for an exterior wall. Okay, let's move to the next measurement now.